My name is Hemi Zamdimil bin Hamidun. I will present for my group to discuss the fault that I will apply in the 15 bus, 15 machine 145 bus that I will apply to the bus 10 and bus 32. Several cases that I will that I will be applied, which uh, which is that I will present for the next slide. Uh, as we can see, the test for the IE test system that we can see here is the uh, sample of the 145 bus that we will be discussed later. So for our case uh, to apply fault in the bus 10 and bus 32, we can setting the number of bus in the MATLAB, uh, MATLAB software by changing the number of uh, bus in the in the column and secondly we can change the time fault clearance by increment of 0 0.1 second per increment and the for stable stable uh, case in the our system we apply the 1.16 second for our stable uh, condition for, uh, when we run the stable uh, when we run the system in the network. So for my case, which is the stable case, from the four, uh, one of the four stable study case that I will conclude, uh, this is the voltage uh, voltage magnitude of the wave that uh, after we apply the fault and uh, in the 10 bus and the 32 bus in the 145 bus system network. As we can see, the voltage from uh, the voltage is will drop until the zero zero voltage then will uh, increase the uh, rise to the 0 .0 0 0.8 voltage that means our uh, after we apply the 1.16 second the voltage will rise and go uh, going to stable condition second for our result we can uh, we can conclude the angle for the the angle rotor for the every each generator for this line is represent uh, every generator that we run in the system network. Uh, as we can see the result, we can conclude that the highest peak for the angle is the 160 uh, degree uh, for the peak. And after after three after two and three seconds, the graph is uh, going under stable condition. For the third result of the stable case studies, we can conclude the simulation. After we start the simulation for the second one second, the result is appear in the 1.16 second for showing the rotor speed of generator in unit of per unit. As we can see. After the 1.16 sec, 1.16 second, the graph will will going and uh, going the stable condition. Uh, it, it, this is due to the our clear fault is after 1.16 second. And the lastly, for our result in the stable case studies, that we can get the result for the voltage angle in the degree. For the peak angle, we can get the hundred angle degree. Uh, against the time, which means the uh, after 1.16 clearance, that the graph will also going to the uh, stable condition. Here we can see of uh, the all generator are represent in the graph. They going the uh, they are going stable condition after we after we clear the times in the system uh, network system. Okay, I am Amira. I will explain to you about the marginally stable. Okay, so the first thing to know is our starting time is 0 second and our end time of simulation is 10 second. So the first thing is we must add 3 phase fault uh, at bus 6 uh, in 9, 10 to 32. After that, we insert 1.01 second to bus 10 and 1.02 second to bus 10. 32. After that, we run the simulation. I will, um, the first graph is the graph of voltage magnitude in P unit versus time in second. As you can see, uh, the graph is critically dropped uh, 
one at one second and increase at one point zero two second and become marginally stable. For the second graph, for the second graph of rotor angle in degree versus time in second, after one point zero two second, the sine wave become marginally stable as you can see until ten second. For the third graph of speed in per unit versus time in second, after one point zero two, you can see the sine wave is more clear than before and it becomes stable. And the last graph is is for the voltage angle in degree versus time in second. After 1.02 second, the sine wave become marginally stable until 10 second. So for the conclusion, uh, rotor speed devi deviation, they are speed in P unit against time in second, mostly show that almost sine wave shape. Okay, thank you. I am Chayami and I will explain about the marginally unstable case. Uh, as we, we just changed the fog clearing time to 1.29 at bus 10 and 1.30 at the bus 22 and we will get another 4 graph as shown later. Okay, This graph shows the voltage magnitude in per unit versus time in, in second. As you can see, the voltage magnitude drops to zero at one second and rise at uh, um, 1.29 second. And then this this graph shows uns very unstable cases. As you can see this very this this graph is very distorted. And for this graph it shows and uh, rotor angle in degree versus time in second. Uh, unlike marginally stable case, it just it just increase uh, for each respectively. And for this graph, it shows the rotor speed in per unit versus the time in second. And then you you can see the graph that each generator has different uh, different shape for the signal. So it does it, it means that it's marginally unstable. And last graph for the marginally unstable case is voltage angle in degree against the time in second. After 1.3 second, the generator shows uh, different different signal among each other as, as you can see and it means that it's marginally unstable for each other. So as conclusion, a marginally stable system may become marginally unstable under certain under certain circumference. Uh, okay, let's proceed to the unstable case. Uh, before that, my name is Clarence Remo. Okay, uh, for the unstable case, we just uh, change the clear fault at bus 10 is a uh, 1.17 and uh, at a uh, clear remote and n bus 32 we change to the 1.1 after we change the the number we will get the four graph okay for the first graph that is a voltage magnitude in per unit what you can see is when the voltage will drop until zero at one second after 1.17, the voltage will going up and the graph will become unstable. Okay, for the second graph, what you can see, uh, second graph is the angle, rotor angle in degree. What you can see is when the 1.17, the generator will going unstable and it have a different part of the uh, number of angle for the third graph that is a uh, rotor speed in building what you can see that when the after 1.17 the rotor went smooth but after that the rotor become unstable it uh, got some different part of the generator okay you we move to the last graph that is a uh, rotor voltage angle in degree what you can see the 
the graph uh, likes uh, the previous graph that is uh, like the uh, previous graph number three and the maximum voltage angle in degree that is a uh, six kilo degree the maximum generator of okay for the uh, for our conclusion uh, in this project that uh, what we conclude is the our project is success uh, successfully run in the system by using the MATLAB software that uh, by we choosing the bus 10 and bus 32 that the place that we apply the fault uh, in the system of 50 machine and 145 bus system network okay uh, this, uh, uh, the conclusion for the all uh, result that we get from the MATLAB is first uh, first of all we uh, we uh, we already run the four type of case which is uh, stable case unstable case marginally uh, stable case and un, uh, marginally unstable case for the stable case and marginally stable case the result that we can uh, that we can see is the uh, the generator is accelerate accelerately uh, rise uh, when it reach the new equilibrium point by uh, by disturbing the generator itself however for the unstable case and marginally unstable case that uh, we can conclude that generator uh, will accelerate and go uh, and after that the generator will decelerate when they reach the new equilibrium new equilibrium point therefore our our project uh, can uh, what we can conclude for our project is the our system bus that we apply in the bus 10 and bus 30 is uh, successfully